I published this oscillator on 2 January 2016, but I did, I did quite a few more experiments with this circuit. And I can now give a better insight. So I remove the first video. In fact, what I have made is, I think, an oscillator with a um, grounded base. Want to explain that later. Here is the whole circuit in real, from a certain distance. I found that it works on higher frequencies, 63 megahertz up to 100 megahertz or so. And as far as I know, I did never see this circuit earlier. But um, I can say that it is a very good circuit, but it works. And tuning is done, in this case, by setting the working point. That's very important. Here we have a kind of preset from the working point. It makes the transistor work. And with this potentiometer we tune in to different frequencies. I have to say that I couldn't get the waveform very good. This is approximately the maximum at the moment, but I'm going on with the circuit. And uh, it's very important to tell that we have here a capacitor, Cx. I've taken many values, 18p, 220 picofarad, 1 nanofarad and 100 nanofarad. And when you do that, and connect them here to the top of the coil, you can see very, very peculiar waveforms. Sorry, that's not true. When you connect it to A, to the base, so in fact then we have uh, a base that's grounded for AC by this capacitor. When you ground the base uh, with these values of capacitors, you will see many very strange waveforms, like I've showed it earlier. But when you connect this capacitor to the top of the coil, there is a slight tuning possible with the help of this potentiometer, approximately 1 MHz. And I think that's quite good when you want to use this circuit. You can also don't connect this capacitor and then it also oscillates. And another point. You can connect the 47 picofarad to the middle of the coil, that's here. This is the coil. The good thing is that it always oscillates. I uh, stretch the coil now to this uh, way, to this form, it still oscillates on 50 megahertz, I think. That's this waveform. When I touch the coil, stretch the coil, press the coil down, it keeps oscillating. Though, of course, on different frequencies. But that uh, makes, gives an idea that it's a stable circuit. So, back to the circuit. Uh, connect the CX from the base to the ground. Then I think the whole circuit works as an oscillator uh, with its base on ground, for AC on ground. And let me demonstrate that now, how it works. Put down the camera for a while. Now I switch on the radio to the free FM band, approximately 100 megahertz. And we tune now. to a frequency in the 100 MHz band. And on the background you hear the hum that this oscillator causes. I think it's a third harmonic from this frequency. So approximately 90, 100 MHz or so. So th there is, a, in a kind of way, not a proper control over the harmonics. But that all is uh, for later experiments. Put down the camera again, switch off the radio. So, that's better. 
I can't stand that hum. Uh, I think it's a very useful circuit for experiments. Very easy to make, only one PMP transistor. I've used the BD140 because of its good properties on high frequencies. In fact it's uh, in also an audio transistor, but it had a, has a very good highest frequency. So I wish you success with this very very typical oscillator and when I have better results, a pure sine wave, better tunability, I will publish that on YouTube.